got our starting characters. We got Edge. We gotta find Edge somewhere. And we gotta defeat Karate. We gotta tell a start. Tell is the best start. Not really, but tell is an interesting start, for sure. All the flags have not changed. Let's dive right into this seed. Tell us, Cecil. Oh my! Hi, guards. Thanks for the legend sword. Well, let's go, Team Ordeals. If there's any seed to loot, Eblon Castle, I think this is the seed. I can't get anything tier 7, actually, which doesn't, which does limit what I can get for Sassel later. Yeah, not being able to get tier 7 out of untrapped chests does limit a lot of the loot for Sassel. Save there, because I don't want to sit through the intro again. Okay, don't need that. Probably don't need that. Might be useful if I find Edge early. But I don't think Edge can be on the overworld. Hello, Ribbon. And monsters. Once I find monsters in one, I go to a different one. So monsters are in the bottom chest, on the left side there. Nice. Cover Cecil is going to be online. Ooh. Okay. This side is free. So that means that I'm going to want to save before I touch the right side. Because there's going to be two things in here, or two things in the middle. Most likely two in this tower. This tower is more dense. Black Sword is very good. Okay, monsters through the passage. That's vanilla. That's one vanilla trapped chests, which is easy to remember. We're gonna go for middle this time. I don't need the charm claw. I'll grab the ribbon on the way out. Because I do want that. That's really good. Um, do I fade? Well, I want some stuff from the right side. But there's only four chests, and I know one of them is trapped there. So I think we walk to the into the right side a little bit, grab all the stuff before that trap chest, and then bail. I don't think there's a reason to take anything else here. And I know there's a Charm Claw in that chest if I want to get Anti-Giant gear for Edge. No, there was like a Crystal Ring or something down here. There was some good stuff in here. There was some good stuff in here. But I know Trap Chest number three is waiting. Oh, it's there. Uh, that was unexpected. I guess I didn't boop that chest, that pot. Now I know where all the trap chests are. Uh, I think I did not loot the middle. I, I think I have to loot the middle again, unfortunately. But now we know. Now we know where everything is, which is good. Want the ribbon, want the stuff on the right side, then we'll exit out, walk back in. So all this is really good. Maybe we'll save a little time walking out by exiting. It does save a little bit of time, I think. Not much. 
compared to walking out of the rooms. Uh, my ebon wood is rusty. My ebon wood is a little rusty. So I can freely root anything down here. Defense sword is not bad. We also got a black sword, which is also good, and some couple pairs of Zeus gauntlets, which is very nice. Uh, let's head to Troya to shop, because otherwise I will fade this for like forever. I forgot I liked to do this. We're going to check Troya and Kaibo shops first, because they're wacky, out-of-the-way shops that people don't check often. Um... All this other stuff is really freaking good. Oh my goodness. Black sword I don't want. Uh, do I want any of this stuff? Nah. We will pass for now. I've already got a black sword, so no point in buying that. Cure 3 is refined. But I have 30,000 GP, which is very good for this point. Take a couple of silk webs. Wait for cut. Wait for Troya Lady to get out of the way. Move on to Kaipo area. Because so I think I do like the idea of looting a little bit here. Actually, just a little bit. Not a lot. Especially with Tella. This loot feels a little more appetizing. At least the front watery pass loot. Not so much the back watery pass loot, because that's an extra landing, and that's just... Mm. I don't want to take the time to land an extra time. That's... No. Hello, Sork Rogue. I think we're probably going to be good after this. Uh, these three chests. Hello, Mute Knife. Thanks for the free one. Just, that was something I was thinking about buying in Troya, but decided against it. Got one for free. Now we go to Kaipo. Well, that's excellent. Hello, Fu. Definitely like to see a cursed ring. Now I can skip all the armor shops and not care. Okay. Yep, that's what I want. I want heal pots and star veils. Onwards to the next stop on my trip around the world. Um, I think we go straight to Hobbs. Where I get to equip things. Yeah, you don't need that. You're also not getting anything else. No armor for Cecil. Just black sword. I don't want to see Demist early then. That'd be good. Uh, hello, Rosa. Rosa is very good. Ant Lion is less than ideal, but I like having Rosa. And he has, does have a black sword at least. Okay, you started with absolute garbage. But you know what else I started with? With Tala?
Okay. Antlion, you're gonna happen. Because I want Rosa. Not afford to attack right now. No, you need healing first. Now we can attack. Let's slow you down. Give me some experience for Rosa. Rosa needs to start doing some work. Also, Rosa should really be in the back row. And that is where she will go. And I'll probably give her some better stuff than what she's got right now. Just enough MP to exit. Good. I don't have enough MP to exit a second time, so we'll have to tent up before heading into uh, Antlion. Oh, hey, let's actually equip people with proper stuff, like rune rings, you know? I have a bunch of rune rings, let's equip those. You came with a power bonk? Okay. Uh, Rosa? Hold on, Tella. You don't need a power bonk. You don't need a weapon. any loot here. I have power bonk. Oh my goodness, time for power bonk practice. On DKC. Also, hello charm rod, tier 5 item here, not bad. Mylon. Cool, uh, if there are ghasts, that's bad. You're also bad. I don't think you do damage to Mylon. Or Mylon Zed. You do. Okay. We're gonna heal him to death. goodness, Tella, you're good. Tella's so strong. Okay, it's the, just the ghasts and the Mylon and friends fight that this is real bad against 
spoon. Tell her to get me out. Is this a party I feel comfortable going to Baron in with? Uh, well, first of all, let's do this. I mean, the answer is generally no. No to deal winners. Raise the hovercraft, because I'm not feeling optimistic. Terrible idea. It's such a bad idea. Odin is not the worst at the first spot. I don't mind that. Palom is probably worth check trying this though. Palom is worth trying this for. by Odin. Oh, um, awkward. Dang it, that's late. Late on that power bunk. This is awkward. This is very awkward. And much easier after ordeals. Much easier after ordeals. Trying to... No, that's going to be too late. Let's slow you down even more. I'm going to stack some blinks up because the second phase will start punching. That is fine. Can I... Right, I blinked you. Frick. Heck. Let's put the blinks on people that I'm not trying to power bonk. Shall we? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's blink like the other people. And then try to power bonk Cecil. Yes! Successful power bonk! I did it! Oh, Possum would be so proud. Possum would be so proud right now if you were here. Let's not blink you! Don't blink yourself, Tella. That's silly. You're already blinked. I wanted to blink Cecil. Heal Cecil. Cecil needs health. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good about this. Look at him go. He's all zerked up. Look at that little black sword Cecil go. <laughs> I 
now I have Palum to do ordeals with. <laughs> and Bahamut. <laughs> sure. Why not? Definitely, I'll definitely get a radio. Oh my goodness. I feel so good about it. I did the power bunk. I don't think I can set up for it reliably, but I think I'm... I'm feeling good about it. I used it to zerk, and I used it to zerk through Piggy. I think I'm doing pretty well. Let's not land on Mysidia. I don't need to buy the Thor with a summer drop. Tell I can do fine with 90 MP. I'm not gonna waste my money on getting him more. Nothing ever I care about. Mm, black belts are nice, but no. We're gonna do our deals next and get Cecil turned into a real paladin. Then he'll be able to do damage with his defense sword. Which is actually a pretty solid Cecil weapon. Okay, there's some arrows. I don't have a heroin rogue, so I'm not gonna go Zerk or Rosa quite yet, because I like Power Bonk. Power Bonk is fun. Slow down my looting. For sure. I can't wait till I have an actual Cecil and I have Zeus Gauntlets or whatever. Oh. Hi, D Mist! Uh, this is not great for power bonking if I didn't since I don't have a silver staff. Dang it. But Oh, I wanna try. Yes. Feel the power of the power bonk. Go Black Sword Cecil against D-Mist. This is going to be a very... I don't know. Do I have... I do not have a silver... I do have a unihorn. I do have a unihorn. So that's something. Unihorn strats. Go Unihorn strats. Let's parry around. is going to go first until it doesn't have the power bonk. First you tell Bonk the demist. I need Rosa to go after Cecil to get the Zerk going again, but I don't know if I want to get the Zerk going again because I don't have another Unihorn. It doesn't matter. Demist is gone. Hooray for Power Bonk. I feel like I've learned some new tech and I'm loving it. Power Bonk is making this tolerable. Ew! No. Unless I have a Grimoire, uh, no.
I don't see a grimoire in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing a grimoire. That is disgusting. Let's go check T-Mist. Let's go check D-Mist. Like, if I have a Grimoire to roll, I will roll that Grimoire over and over again until I get through that spot, but I don't have a Grimoire, so no. I will say I am having a lot of fun power bonking Cecil though. Earth! Um I feel like I should be a paladin before I go there. I feel like I should be a paladin first. I know DKC damage is fun to do, but it it's not. I don't want to be relying on DKC. We'll loot the treasury. Uh, and also check this for karate. But I think I'm going to not worry about that right this second. It would help if I actually walked in the right direction, instead of going up out of the mist cave, and it would help if I walked down into the boss spot. Don't need that boss. But yeah, Magus Sisters are kind of gross there. So I really don't want to deal with Magus Sisters. I will, but I don't want to. I mean, I do have Rune Rings, which protect me from some of the, some of the Magus Sisters. You came with Garba Hot Garbaggio. I do have Mute stuff, actually. So I could turn you... Oh yeah, I could turn you into an actual archer. And then turn you into the Bonker. Because power bonk. Let's check treasury first, but I have a strat. I can power bonk Rosa maybe. Turn her into a nasty archer with samurai bow and arrows. Especially if there's a heroin robe in here. That becomes the strat. And DKC becomes a lot less important. Okay, this is a decent treasury. I mean, I don't know. Need to toss more of this stuff. I do kind of want the shuriken for money. Uh, yes. Yeah, whatever. Uh, no, nope, don't need that. Yes, I do want illusions. Ugh, what do I ditch? There's too much stuff. I have too much stuff. Altogether too much stuff. We are going to ditch the shuriken. I changed my mind. Second power bonk? I don't need you. Screw basically any gauntlet that I don't need. Screw strength ring too. I have two Zeus gauntlets. What are the odds? I should definitely keep Medusa arrows around. Uh, poison arrows can go. I've got samurai. More poison arrows can go. Okay. Nothing super, super exciting in the treasury. Some useful stuff, but nothing super exciting. Sorry, power bonk too. I had to get rid of you. I want my one power bonk. Second charm rod, not bad. Uh, let's just not loot that and exit. Uh, okay. I think I have a strategy for ordeals. I think I have a strategy for ordeals. Because I want to do ordeals. And I've got... a Rosa. With a good bow. And arrows. So we're going to change rows. Stick you there. Uh, 
That's worse flying as it is. You go there. And then heal up. Uh, maybe I want Tele up top. What's our agility situation? You're fast. Uh, you're not as fast. You might be a little too slow. We'll try that. I want to power bomb people. I was the whole point of this was to get the chocobo. But yes, I want a power bonk. I want a power bonk Rosa, ideally. We are going to try to get the power bonk on Rosa. Should have saved at the bottom there. Oh well. Tom can do some swings. Well, he's not back row glitched. No, he is back row glitched. He came with a bow and arrow. Yes, Palom can swing. Palom can swing his meat knife. For some extra damage. It'll help. But mostly I want to power bonk Rosa. So if Magus sisters could cooperate, that would be nice. Uh, you are going to wait and life up whoever gets knocked down or whatever. Yeah. Life. No. Nope, we're resetting that because I accidentally did a bad. I still think I like the life pot opening on whoever gets hit. I'm not scared of the punches. Uh, no. Bad. Now I can't power bonk her. No, I can. Okay. I don't know if she can live through the power bonk. Well, she's not living through that. Come on, really? You get the turn now? You have the worst... This is the worst time. <sighs> she doesn't really need the power bonk, I guess. Take a swing, Talon. Rosa, go. Really, Rosa? You're in the middle. Oh, Mindy's coming back. Nope, she's not back yet. Mindy's not back yet. Rosa, do your worst. Come on, Rosa. Why are you missing? You are in the middle with a samurai bow. You would think samurai bow would be good enough. Okay, no more Cindy. Mindy, she can destroy no problem. Wonder what's up with that. Oh, good. Thanks, Palin. That is not okay. That is not okay, Cecil. Cecil? Cecil bad. Cecil has betrayed me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That swoon proc. That swoon proc. This seed. This seed. This has been a fun adventure. Oh dear.
It's been an adventure of power bonking and then... Oh my goodness. Cecil, why? <laughs> I guess... I don't know. High hook. We're doing Zot before we do that. For sure. Cecil, be a paladin now. Stop swoon procking your own party members when you get charmed. Hi, CPU. I don't like you. You know that, right? Like, I really don't like you. Uh, what did you come with? A silver sword. That's not terrible. I have a defense or something, right? Yeah. I would like to not maybe save my meteors, but I didn't really... Well, yeah. Tella? Power bonk. Power bonk. I like power bonk. I'm... I love power bonking too much. It's too much fun. Power bonking is just too much fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I'm addicted to power bonking. Uh, this will get... Well, now I don't feel like there's a point in tower bonking because Tella has Berserk now. Tella's now learned Berserk, so there's no longer really a point to power bonking. Sad face. It, it was useful. I did it in multiple fights. Now let's go finish the rest of the seed, which is probably going to be a whole adventure. check the item shop. I don't need anything else. Defender is good enough for now, or defense sword. It is going to be plenty useful for the time being. So do I want to keep Rosa as an archer? I think I do, because power bonk. But also, I think I want to give you some of these things. Oh, let's equip Cecil. Also. Uh, dwarf. Defense. Crystal. Dragoon. Not crystal. I don't think I can berserk through crystal armor. Let's not give you the Sork Rope. Uh, Zeus. Give you the crystal ring. Although now I don't think I'll be able to power bond properly. It's a little annoying. Whereas I could have before. Yeah, you know what? You don't get the crystal ring. Get back get a rune ring back. But you can have a tiara, so I can repurpose the ribbon for someone else. I want to power bonk. This is my this is my new purpose. It's to power bonk. All of the things, except it's there's no point. I have a I have berserk. I should just give her the crystal ring. Yeah, fine. Let's do the smart thing and give you the crystal ring and use uh, the power bonk and not use the power bonk to zerk. 
Cool. Cool shield. Time to get my mute arrows back out. I don't think I have a Runex. You don't know Berserk by chance. Nope. Well, Perry, I can't power bonk you. Uh, just checking for no Runex. Okay, no Runex, but. But. Uh, let's cover. I don't know. Everyone has anti-mage gear, basically, except for, except for her, actually. I should be life-locking. We're gonna go for just not life-locking. No life-lock. Just go. Just go, Rosa. Do damage. And maybe I should have made Cecil in into the archer. That might have been better. This is probably fine. I'm taking one damage per hit. Like... <laughs> yeah. Go, Palum, go! Mute Knife, Palum, go! You have no magic here, so your Cure 3 is not very scary. Cure 4 is the only one that's scary. But Rose is doing like 3,000 damage. And Cecil and Palom are helping. Yeah, goodbye, Asura. There is Rose's Berserk. Palom gets Virus, very good. I like Virus. That'll be helpful. And maybe now I can give him his Charm Rod and not have him be doing... Silly little... Uh, yeah, let's not, not have you be doing silly attacks with that. Give you a charm rod. And it can basically cover Cecil my way through a lot of things. Hello, second Palin. Don't know if I really want second Palum. I mean, I have a Charm Rod for him, so it's not the worst move. Not the worst. I do like Cecil, though, so Cecil is staying. For sure. Because we'll probably get an Excalon, maybe even a Crystal Sword, but probably an Excalon. I've already got Zeus Gauntlets, so it makes sense. Uh, well, Palum's joining over Purim. That's for sure. Porum is in the seed, but not joining the party. I have a rune ring. And probably nothing else. Cool. Now who's here, and who's going to be faster than me, and except maybe Rosa might be even on speed with this boss. Rosa is even on speed with this boss. Let's not use my meters. You know what's actually good here? Star Veils. This boss is spooky, and I don't like it. This boss has real high magic for this point in the game.
Yeah. That's why we veiled. I don't want to take that damage. Ow. Goodbye. That's fine. We have two. We made it out. <laughs> made it through Leviathan at uh, Val. Definitely worth those two Sarvales. Definitely worth it. You, Palum, you need to learn your level two elemental spells. If you're going to be part of this team, you need to learn at least those. Oh dear. Well, that's an option underground. It is certainly an option. I'm not thrilled about that option, but it is an option. And given that we're probably going to have to go through the hook route at this point, I'm pretty sure we have to actually, because we did demist. Right? Oh, I haven't done Fabul. Let's do Fabul. Let's not fade Fabul. Because last seed, that would have been real bad. So let's not fade for Bull this seed either. Give me more experience before this hook route. Maybe I can get Quake on a Palom. Also, maybe I can find Life Pops or Tents or something, because I need those. Ugh. Hi, Sparkle. Well, new Palom is useless. Older Palom can do virus. And that just gets rid of Pale them immediately, so no worries there. Okay, Older Palom has not learned Quake yet, but that's something. Uh, Cecil got Exit, which is cool. Toad is something. He's very close to Quake. Quake would definitely make the hook route easier. I've got a bunch of anti-mage stuff. Hello, Light Sword. Also, Pink Tail. We are turning in the Pink Tail before I go underground, because Pink Tail... Oh, Soma Drop. I can get rid of that Darkness Sword. Oh no, what about the money I would have made from that Darkness Sword? It's so much value. I need to sell some stuff. Maybe the Pink Tail will be a Crystal Sword. It's very well within the realm of possibility. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of one of those. Total money. Um, I'm gonna keep the light sword around. It is useful. Yeah, let's just get a bunch of money and buy some cabins. We got Pink Tail. So now we head over to Dampsian area. Grab this hovercraft.
I could find a heroin robe somewhere, that would be nice too, but I don't know if it's worth going back into Eblon Castle for the trap chests. Definitely not worth going for trap chests. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you most kindly. Oh, hey, uh, I should probably equip some armor. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Uh, we're gonna put you in the middle. <laughs> oh, Crystal Sword Sassel Gober. Crystal Sword Sassel Gober. That's probably about all I need for the hook route. An anchor and a Crystal Sword Sassel. And someone who can cast Berserk. That's pretty much it. I think if I ditch anyone, it's one of the Palums, because unfortunately, Palum is just not as good on these flags. One Palum is fine, two Palums is just, mm. Do I really want two Black Mages? Like, I like Black Mages for coverage, not for... Let's take a couple of Coffins, just in case. I like Black Mages to cover uh, AoE bosses, not to actually rely on fully. I think it's a little late for Radius, so I can probably sell the Bahamut Summon and get a whole bunch of cash. Now that I think about it, that's probably what I should do before too long. I think we're done looting. I think we're pretty much just done looting. I am so glad that three bosses are on. Well, this key couldn't be here if three bosses weren't on. And I'm so glad you're at that spot and not King Queen because I'm pretty sure Cecil can take that spot. But will I want Palum to get the experience or Rosa? Probably Palum. Probably Palum. I don't think I take Sid. I don't. I'm trying to think what weapons I would have for him and I can't think of anything. I have no idea what bow and arrow he had, but it couldn't have been that good. So I know I'm only getting experience on Cecil and one other person against that uh, DKC. I think I want it to be Palom. The, the further ahead Palom, I mean. I think I want to get a Quack Kid online. I think that's the most valuable use of that. And that also tells me I don't need to worry about getting quack in advance, so I'm not going to worry about that. I didn't, and I don't need Sid to anchor. I didn't need Sid to anchor because I have Tella, and Tella is a perfectly fine anchor. Uh, let's actually equip the curse string. You know, the curse ring I have. Let's give him that, so that I can actually do this properly. Oh no! Okay, much less bad. This is completely free. Completely free hook route. Oh my goodness. So free. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Thank you, Crystal Sword Cecil, for going, Burr. Now we have a Dark Knight. Who I think I can beat. I might need to have Cecil cure to himself. put you up at the top and then just go in yeah we're gonna heal yourself once
don't think I'm gonna get the life pot off. Yeah, not gonna get the life pot. That's okay. Cecil, I don't think would have lived. No, Cecil would not have lived without that cure too. Should have just gone for this earlier. Uh, what do I have? Yay, Crystal Sword Cecil. We're just having HP. This was a fun seed so far. Uh, we've prayed Pink Tail. So I'm gonna mark that. Bahamut! <laughs> That's free. Even more free with uh, Crystal Sword Cecil Gobert. Oh, there's things to do. There's too many options. There's Key with Tower. Oh, there's all the bad options. Ew. I have only bad options. That is the entire the entire underground is bad options. I don't even get oh Earth Crystal is loopy, right. So we've got Sealed Cave as a bad option. We've got Fey March. We've got Keyless Tower. We've got Dwarf Castle. And we have Sheila 1 with no extra thing in Fabul. All these options are kind of gross. Every single one of these options is just gross, and I don't like them. We're gonna say that it is too late for these random J items, it is too late for Rydia. I'm gonna take the money. Probably not using Crystal Gauntlets, given what I have. I'm gonna sell that diamond armor. Um... Fey March? Let's do Fey March Sheila 1. That's the most attractive thing I can do right now. Fey March Ruby Sheila 1. Don't need any loot because I have Crystal Sword Cecil with the Zeus Gauntlets. And that's going to be enough for my... for the entire seed, I think. I don't think I'll need much more than this. Yeah, no, I don't need that, but I guess I took it. That's kind of nice, actually, for a second pound. Well, he's in the party, he may as well have it. <laughs> That's cute. That's a cute Fey March freebie. Grab all the sirens. We now have plenty of sirens. Yeah, do I want the Drain Sword? Kind of. I have to sort my inventory. That's really what just needs to happen. My inventory's a hot mess. I could do my whole grind right now. I don't really want to. But I could. Uh, Cecil has exit so I can leave here without reviving anyone else, which is nice. I like not having to revive people. Not having to revive people is good. Hi. Bye. Never again. Let's never speak of this Fey March. Because I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal. Sheila 1, because freebies are good. Though I'm honestly considering doing a mini grind and then diving sealed cave. That's honestly what I'm thinking as my play, because I did Zot. 
So clearly the next logical step would be to follow that thought chain through the sealed cave pretty quickly. Because, you know, maybe that pays off and my opponent didn't do Zod or something. Not sure how much Crystal Sword Cecil would be helped with that hook route also, so... Doing the double dip of Fugul is not super great because that hook route was very free. That hook route was super free, oh my goodness. So we're gonna check this. Naturally, it's that that perfect, perfect. Yeah, see, that would tell me if I had done the gun for the double dip instead of the triple dip, which I'm gonna do probably. That tells that would make me feel really good. Now I don't feel good, so we're gonna do sealed cave. After doing a mini grind. But I need to knock down Tella, so we'll put Cecil in the second slot first. Because Tella needs to go down. I generally trust Cecil to take these out. Uh, let's save. Oh no, a back attack. I don't actually need to take Tal out. But I'm gonna. He has a curse ring on, he'll be fine. But, eh. Wow, you barely killed it. But good job, Crystal Sword Cecil. Three more levels. I'm just doing a mini grind here just to get warp, I think. Uh, let's... Do that. We got two Quack Kids now. Cecil is barely doing this, but he's doing it. Okay, we have work. That's gonna be enough. Cure 3 is also helpful. I don't need two warp kids, I only need Lu 1. Um, do I want to make you into more of a white mage? I don't think I have a staff to do that. So, no, you're fine. You are fine as is. We will probably swap you with... Uh, yeah, we'll swap you back. We'll swap you into the front, into the back row. Keep you safe. Sealed cave. What you got for me? Doors. I have so many sirens. So many sirens. Don't think I quite have enough to get Talum all the way to nuke right now, but I have tons of sirens. I'm gonna try to keep going through the seed a little bit to try to get more key items, because more key items is good. And we're gonna have Crystal Sword Cecil go burr, a couple of Palums tossing quacks. This is a pretty strong party. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty strong party. Maybe I should have prioritized Dwarf Castle because Edge. 
Meh. Dwarf Castle's up next, for sure. But I wanted Sealed Cave, because I got the Luka Key out of Zot. And Zot was a time commitment that only gave me a second Palom, which isn't the most useful. So I'm gonna chase this. And get the pass. That's that's not nothing. I will take the pass. I will keep the pass from Sealed Cave. I will definitely keep that. Because I might be able to hit Go Mode without the Darkness Crystal. Maybe. This is very rude, though. Okay. Fine. You don't hit that hard. I've also got Quack Kids, so, uh, yeah, rip arms. Thank you, Cecil. We're gonna bounce this slow. Please hit the right target. Nice! I don't need to blink here at all. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. I can heal you up. That's fine. Goodbye, Vigan. Bye, Vigan. I might teach the other Palom Warp. It did. Cool! Two warp kids. Well, I mean, doing Zot and this for pass is not is definitely not worth it. Uh, you know, I've already I was already down here. It's going to save time overall at this point just to take this out. And it's nice if I don't find a Darkness Crystal. Otherwise, yeah. I'm not enough time save. So at this point, I'm hoping everything's on the blue planet. Which, mm, it's possible. We still got Dwarf Keyless Tower and the Fame Arch. And we've already found Pink Tail and Legend. So the only ingredient that I'm missing is adamant, really. The only key item. Well, adamant and harp. But harp's a chain item, so harp could weed further on. Adamant is the only terminal one I'm missing. And I could just find karate somewhere. Which would also address the... Uh, finding karate would also address one of those key items. One of those objectives. And edge. Edge 2. I need to find Edge somewhere. Where's Edge? I would like Edge to show up here. That would be nice. I think I have Ninja Long. Is Ninja Long good enough to ditch a Palom? With no strength boosting gear other than Zeus. Starts to get a little iffy. I know I could outspeed this fight, but yeah. Oh no, lit one. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't care about Mylon and friends. Goodbye, Mylon and friends. Where is this karate fight? Take whatever levels I get from here, because they're good. I have a ton of sirens so I can grind myself up. Oh, this is a leg. Or, yeah, some form of leg here. So that's no karate. Hello, Edge. I don't know if I want you. I think I do. I think I do because I'm not going to go full reflex strats with the Crystal Sword Cecil. 
I think we take Edge. We take Edge here. We'll see what he comes with. I've got a couple of swords for him, and I've got Spare Zeus Gauntlets, which are enough. That's a nice starting item. I do not hate starting a uh, Thunderclaw. I do not hate starting Thunderclaw. We are going to make take advantage of that Thunderclaw and do our battle probably. Because I can get all the trap chests done real fast. With Thunderclaw Edge. And because I kind of want better weapons for him. Kind of want some other stuff. Uh, Charm Rod is not really doing it for me. Also, a staff would be nice. Literally any staff. Oh, but Baron. Mmm. I feel like Baron is probably better than Keyless Tower. We'll keep Edge in the party because Edge is good. We have a full moon too, so I can back row glitch him even better. don't I need? I like a lot of this stuff. Black shirt I can probably sell. I can sell this, but that doesn't free up space. Let's sell the summer drop. I'm not gonna use it. Give me some Bacchus. That's really good. Let's finish decking you out. The samurai hat is good for you. Uh, I don't think I have any armor for you, so that's a little bit of an issue, but Zeus Gauntlets. And, uh, what's full moon? Long is generally better. That should be fine for Edge for now. I got a decent ninja. I would like to get him something, some sort of strength boosting gear. Oh, where were black belts? I know I saw them. Yeah, it's not that important. Baron. Baron is better than uh, continuing through underground stuff and doing Keyless Tower. Following the Baron rabbit hole. Uh, let's put you in the middle. Because Cecil go burr. And I want to be low anchored, or I want to be high anchored here. I'm not going to find a black belt. Actually, I want that. Get edge a little bit more attack. Headband is fine. I'm, I'm happy with headband on, on as his head slot for the rest of the game, pretty much. Bandana doesn't provide any extra strength, it's just vitality and defense and stuff. So it, it is better, but headband is perfectly functional. The only sparkles left are Wyvern and Ogo, because naturally they are. That's how the seed works. Uh, we took out Bygen. I should remember that. Let's mark that now before I forget. Alright, this is guards. Some sort of guards. I don't really care which. They're both dead. It's Kaipo. You're back rogue glitch, so that should do full damage. Eh. Quack Kid. Definitely want to keep one Quack Kid around. Having one Quack Kid is very good. So Kaipo Guard's really easy. Let's do the throne first. Is this even... randomized? Uh, Thunderclaw go burr. I'm 
waiting for you to gather the water. Thunderclog Ogre. Not very burr. Pretty sure Virus is just what's gonna finish this off. Oh no, you healed 400 hit points. That's actually somewhat significant. But yeah, you're dead. Nope. Do not care about Dupe Rosa. Maybe Dupe Cecil joins, but I don't think I care about any other dupe, any other characters at this point. Maybe. And that Dupe Cecil is a hard maybe. Because uh, I do have an Excal for him, but it's another person I have to Zerk up. Well, I have Bacchus, so it's probably fine. Fine. I know Bahamut's at top of tower, so that's pretty free. Pan, we should probably run that. Probably should run that. Although I am going to do a quick peek of Baron Basement. Uh, with you not having the Thunderclaw equipped. That would help. Not having the Thunderclaw might help a little bit. I just realized I never marked my Baron key. There we go. Baron Basement, what you got? May as well just clear this now while we're here. Because I still need multiple key items. Are you, if you're a gauntlet, I'm not taking you. That felt long. Yeah, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's let's just let's just pretend that that doesn't exist, and that Baron Basement won't have any value. Although the real smart thing to do would be uh, have some sort of Zerker with an anti mage stuff in the top slot, but that would require too much effort. <laughs> Because that, that would destroy most of that gauntlet. Because I think it's four conjurers or something. And they're all mages. Edge plus mute knife, maybe? Maybe? I don't know if he... Well, no, it is a times four, so yeah. Edge plus mute knife might be in the top slot. Would be able to probably tear through that gauntlet pretty easily. So maybe I do do that gauntlet. After the Pam. I mean, definitely check this first. We are at nine key items. Ha hello. Um, Artibo, Mute Arrow, Rosa would also do the work. And I wouldn't lose my arrows if I one shot. Which she's very likely to do with an Artibo. I think I will do that gauntlet. I'm feeling a little better about that gauntlet now. Uh, let's mark Kinazo because I forgot to mark Kinazo. Silly vanilla Kinazo. Okay. Well, let's go turn that in. That's another key item. Uh, 
let's, we have to change airships for that, but that's fine. It was going to happen at some point anyway. No, I can't push the dump the falcon into the water the way it deserves. But we can grab this, grab the hovercraft, turn in our rat tail. There's a bunch of quick checks, which I like. I like quick checks. I don't like slow checks. Except Zot. Zot is the one exception. I like Zot. For some reason. I don't know if I want to go to the moon, though. I don't want to go to the moon. No. I wanted to keep having a fun romp on the blue planet with, uh... Baron Base Moon. The smart thing is to go to the moon right now. We're gonna go take out the Baron Basement Gauntlet real quick. And then fade the Fey March. Because always fade the Fey March. And fade Keyless Tower. Because who needs Keyless Tower? I certainly don't. I want this to have value so bad. Do I have a mute knife? I do have a mute knife. Good. I wanted to just double check that. Stick you there. This is gonna be a lot of edge going, Burr. And hopefully managing to do quad. Uh, hopefully managing to do four digit damage. Or like 3,000 damage with one shot. Because otherwise it gets sticky. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn the battle speed down just a tiny bit. Just to make sure I get my inputs in in time. But this should be just whole day for four fights. And then the fifth fight gets a little more complicated. But the first four fights should just be whole day. Yep. Okay. And I can let- I don't need to queue up the attack with Palin. Nice. This is working out real well. This fight, this gauntlet is all conjurers. Pretty much. I mean, it's four conjurers and then something else. But four conjurers is pretty simple. Thank you, Mute Knife. Four conjurers down. Let's see who the fifth fight is. Let me get some levels, which is good. Single clapper. Less than ideal. You're flying, aren't you? You are flying. Oh no. Yeah, Edge can do flying damage. So we're gonna Berserk Edge because Edge is doing flying anti-flying damage, and anti-flying damage is good. I like anti-flying damage. Exploit those weaknesses. Nice. Easy gauntlet. I don't need these levels really badly, so we can reset out if this is nothing. Don't need a Zeus Rage. Naturally, it's Bahamut. Naturally, I fight through a gauntlet and it's Bahamut. It was a fairly fast gauntlet, to be fair. That was a pretty fast gauntlet. <laughs> uh, let's put my or form back. Give you back your long. Head into the moon, because that's the logical play at this point. It's so unlikely that Twin Harp and Adamant are on the blue planet. And there's only a few, a handful of boss checks left on the blue planet. And I know that top, I know top of tower boss and the Fame March bosses are not the bosses I'm looking for. So it's like, do I want to fight those bosses, which are not karate, for a chance at finding a key item? Or maybe 
something that leads to karate or one of these two key items, or do I want to go to the moon where there are six unknown bosses that could be karate, and there are seven chances to find this key item, or a key item that I could need. So, you know, it's just so much more likely. And karate could be in giant too, which is like two more checks that just reduce the chance of it being down on the blue planet even further. I mean, there's like the tower key, which could be either on the moon or down there, but more likely up here, which could gate him. Twin Harp could as well. Twin Harp's also just value, so I like Twin Harp. I don't think I need anything from shops anymore. I should have maybe done a grind first, but who cares? I've got Crystal Sword Cecil. I'm basically invincible. That's not true. But I'm at a point where I feel pretty safe on the moon. I've, my party is strong enough. I will probably still do a top-down, because top-down life. Second Edge is not joining. No. No, I do not want Second Edge. No, thank you. Uh, but that is... That's all the dupes, I think. I think that's every dupe. So we know now that uh, there is no second Cecil confirmed, so I can feel free to start darting things with Edge. And feel free to pretty much block in this party as my final party. Let's go top down but skip Cave Bahamut because Cave Bahamut is trash. Uh, there's never value there. Surely. Surely the value isn't in Cave Bahamut. The value's at the Murasame altar. Right? Okay. Uh, in terms of what's left on the blue planet for me... The only things that can drive me back to the blue planet are a tower key and a twin, and a twin harp. Which means I'm pretty much full clearing at this point, unless I get Twin Harp. Twin Harp might pull me back, but Tower Key will not. Twin Harp plus Tower Key might pull me back, I should say. Twin Harp is an objective, though, so that might- Twin Harp might elicit a save scum. Oh, Twin Harp's really long to save scum. I don't think it's worth save scumming that if I'm going back. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Well! Uh, hello. Top down. Always top down. Always top down. Always top down. There's the boss. Now we're just looking for a key item. So Twin Harp or Adamant is immediately leave. Don't care about the package. Does not matter. That does nothing for me. Now we go to the bottom of the moon. Murasame first. Always pays off. 100% of the time that it... Murasame first pays off 100% of the time that it pays off. I think I rolled nicer seeds for myself today than uh, last time. It's No, it's too early to say that. It is too early to say that. We could have a Twin Harp gating Adamant behind a Tower Key somewhere. Tower Key in the Fey March. Oh my goodness. So rude. We could still have some rude Moon Bosses. I have not seen Wyvern and I have not seen Ogo. And I have not seen Golbez. But I also haven't seen King Queen Eplon, right? They're, they're gonna be up here, totally. That's something I'm going to get. I'm going to get, like, Water Hag and Baron Guards and King Queen Eblon, right? We all know that's not going to happen. We all know that it's going to be Ogo and Wyvern and Golbez and uh, Evil Wall up here. And Val. It's going to be all those bosses. It's not going to be any of the nice, friendly... Oh, hey, here's your 
It's not going to be any of the nice friendly bosses that don't require any effort. It's going to be all the annoying ones. Because it always is. Ribbon room time. Best chance of getting a value item. See? It's always the rude bosses. It's always the rude bosses. I should have just Bacchused up and done blinking and curing up and stuff. It's fine. That's less fine. This is Princess of the Bear. come up after he tosses that cure folk too. Very important. Can you not? You don't know cure four yet. Please get this off. Uh, you're kind of useless. Good. Mmm, that's not as much hit point healing as I would like. We're doing damage. Thank you. Thank you for addressing that. At this point it's just heal and blink and stuff, but mostly heal first and then blink. Okay, I feel a little safer now. Okay, this is fine. That's only a 25% HP wave, so that's totally fine. Let's blink you, because I really don't want you to die. Thank you, Cecil and Edge, for doing the damage. I appreciate that you're consistent damage output. Probably can quake now. You're very low in health. I think. Rip Edge! Rip Edge! Sorry, Edge, we're gonna have to... You're gonna miss out on a lot of experience. That is a lot of experience to miss out on. Oh my goodness. That was way too much experience to miss out on, but okay. I'm not redoing that. Here you go, Rosa. That's so much experience to miss out on. Uh... Oh my god, he's so far behind. Poor Edge. He's so far behind. I don't know if he's gonna get to Z levels before Palom learns Nuke. Like, Palom has to go further, so Palom is the one I really care about, but... He's 10 levels behind! <laughs> Edge is gonna be in, like, the low 40s. Or mid 40s. And Palom's gonna have Nuke. I have tons of Sirens, I'll be fine. If I really need to grind. Oh, hey, look! See? All the rude bosses. This is probably not required at all. This is probably totally haunted. Which would be really funny. I think we can get maybe Palom off. Palomvale? No Palomvale. No Palomvale. Rip Palomvale. You only do... Oh. Uh... Well, that's Bacchus. And life. <laughs> uh, congrats on not killing me, Wyvern. You failed. Maybe I should heal Cecil. That might be worth it. I think healing Cecil will be worth it. I think Cecil has enough health to take a nuke. And maybe Palom as well, since they survived the Mega Nuke. Just top Cecil off. Oh, Wyvern. Cecil's going, Burr. You're just getting wall? How slow are you? We're gonna keep healing people. Or not, because Wyvern is gone. Wow. What a weak Mega Nuke. There's that tower key. Not gonna chase that. 
That'd be funny if that was, if everything was behind that. This would be a real rude seed then. Let's cabin and take Masamune Altar and then Crystal Sword Altar and then Cape Bahamut probably, unless I get a Twin Harp or an Adamant anywhere. Because the moment I see one of those, I'm leaving. Because I'm in go mode. But I don't really think it makes that much sense to save scum that tower key. To look f like this check is faster. These checks up here are faster checks. Naturally. I should start darting things. Well, Edge is kind of low level. And Edge's level matters. How many darts do I have? I've got a bunch. A whole bunch. Light Sword's gonna do kind of eh. Get Cecil Zerked. Okay, Light Sword does some damage. Edge is ready to do damage. Uh, let's blink you up, because you need to get levels seriously, Edge. Heck. That's fine. Quack. Don't want to use my Spooner Excal yet. Let's throw the White Spear. Cecil's not fine. Cecil is not fine anymore, but Edge is safe. Uh, we do want Cecil to get levels, though. Thank you, White Spear. I'm still on BS4. That is not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Thank you, Talon. Eat Dragoon. Eat a Dragoon Lance. Thank you, Blink, for taking that hit. Cecil, you're back up. You're not dead yet, Evil Wall, and I don't like it. Okay. Okay. This is happening. Let's keep Cecil up. Palum, thank you for doing damage. Petrify doesn't really scare me. Cecil does more damage. Go defense sword. Cecil, be safe. Goodbye, evil wall. I'm saving Spoon and Excal to save scum them. But I can throw away all the other darts. They don't matter. <laughs> I'm keeping the experience and I'm keeping that sword. I can justify keeping a Masamune, I think because I'm going to be using Edge long term. Warp backwards. That's funny. That's a real cute game. Uh, let's maybe not be on Battle Speed 4. Although Battle Speed 4 did make that evil fight much safer. This seed. This seed is special. I mean, all my seeds are special, but... Well, the last seed was nice. Last seed was not that special. Last seed was boring, like, kind of nice and jetty, and... You know, everything was fine. And this seed uh, has been... Oops, I forgot to heal up. 
You're not going to get this Ice 3 off, are you? It doesn't matter. We haven't done damage yet. Yeah, that's what I figured. Don't have an Ice Claw, so... I'm not going to worry about that. I shouldn't dart anything here. Flood. Uh, this is not going to do any damage. Thanks for healing him. 6,000 damage. Yeah, I don't care about Fire 2. Flood times was timed correctly. That's good. We're going to be gambling and do Ice Spells, even though Ice is going to, you know, cause things. Thanks for flooding. Good job, Edge. Cecil keep doing big hits for, you know, Crystal Sword damage, because you're a Crystal Sword Cecil. That's what you do. Oh good, we got the script kill. This has been a fun Lunar Subterrain. Bottom of the LST has been real fun. We got Leg. I like that Leg was here. But Ogle, Wyvern, and Evil Wall at the bottom of the LST is something. Cool. Whatever. I don't need Foo at this point. Literally not helpful. Get me out of here. So, any key item at this point is good. That's what we're getting to. Bottom of the LST may have been haunted, may not have been haunted, because Tower Key. Because Tower Key is a thing that exists. I'll probably do that over Fey March because Fey March is super free and could have been done much earlier. Well, not super free, but relatively easy, comparatively. I don't think I'll need to use any of my the rest of my sirens. I bought way too many. I don't think I'll need any of them anymore because Palom is two levels shy of Nuke. We might we might need one. We might need one. I'll I'll say that. This is looking like a pretty strong hybrid strats fight. Of course this is Water Hag the whole time. Of course. Why would it not be Water Hag? This is why we check cave value. Because you can see the boss. And in this case, the boss was free. Rip Edge. I'm sorry, Edge. You keep dying. I'm not going to go through the effort to revive you. It's not my fault that you keep dying. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just keep leveling up these three. Because these three are kind of all I need. Uh, let's not keep that. I don't need that white spear. Or the experience. That experience is garbage. To the blue planet! So Moon almost taunted? I mean, there was Karate. Karate was up here. If Tower Key gates something, that's really trolly. And good on me for rolling this seed. Hmm. This is a pretty fun seed. I have to say, this has been a fun one. Do I just grind? I should just grind. We'll grind after Super Cannon. Uh, let's save before I head up the tower, because maybe I wipe to something. Although, that's super unlikely. Uh, you know, just for the heck of it, we're gonna put you at the top. So that I can uh, toss something out quickly that will AoE, because there's a bunch of AoE bosses left and I don't want to have to deal with AoE. There's also Golbez. There is also Golbez. And since I know he's not at top of tower... Oh, we have to do top of tower too. Let's do top of tower, fine. Do I want to do top of tower? 
I faded it for so long. Yeah. Let's do top of tower. Which means we're swapping back. It's Bahamut. But it's Bahamut at a very low magic spot. Meaning Mega Nuke is not that scary. And might not kill people. Probably won't kill anyone. Might kill Edge. Edge is squishy. Not like everyone else in my party. Yeah, it might kill Edge. Because Edge is real bad. He's too squishy. He's so good at damage, but not good at uh, surviving. And I really want him to be good at surviving, but... Eh. Maybe I'll get a power shirt from something. Or something, I don't know. Maybe there's one in Coco's shop. Let's do that. You're counting fast. I don't mind, because I've got lots of hit points. And I'm pretty sure someone will dodge. Pretty sure... I'm pretty sure someone will be able to dodge this uh, Mega Nuke. If it happens, because uh, we've done so much damage already. So much damage. Edge, you can now get Berserked for even more damage faster. Didn't matter because Cecil killed it. Because Crystal Sword Cecil go burr. Take the level up, because I may as well. Talum is one level shy of Nuke. There's the Adamant. I'm not looking for the Twin Harp. We'll get music after the seed. Should've done Keyless Tower. Should've done Keyless Tower. In hindsight. It was free. So I should've just done it. And then I would've gotten the Adamant. And then I would've done Top Down Moon, found Karate right away, and skipped the rest of that Lunar Subterrain. Which was a mess. And there, yeah, there's no way anything saves time because Twin Harp is long and Adam and Forge is very fast. I'm gonna pop like one or two sirens before finishing the seed because I do need a couple levels just to get Palm to nuke. Don't care about Edge. Edge will get what he gets, and he won't get upset. He can get upset, but I I don't care. Edge, you can be the weak link of the party. That's fine. This this seed is predicated entirely on Crystal Sword Sassel Go Bear. So, uh, yeah, Edge, you can be weak. Uh, let's do that. Quickly pop a siren. Because I can one-shot eggs. Just want to get Palom Nuke, because he's like one level shy. There's Nuke. And Edge has over 2,000 hit points, so, you know, he's not doing too badly. He's doing all right, for sure. Edge is fine. Uh, I would like power shirts. That would be the ideal thing to find in Coco's Forge. Goodbye, Ninja Sword. I don't need that. I've got a Masa. He said it in 17 out of 17. Can't 17 out of 17 if you don't find the Twin Heart. <laughs> you know, I do want that. Because Rose has been using this stuff all seed. And she deserves to use that. For the final battle. Get another dart. I can throw with Edge, which is fine. We're doing definite hybrid strats, for sure. Crystal acquired. Forge is done. No Cave Magnus. No Cave Magnus. We're ready to go. This is still going to be sub 2. Which I appreciate. I like sub 2. Don't walk right out of Coco's Forge. It takes longer. I have a pass, so I don't have to go back to the moon, which is good. So this has reaffirmed that I should do Keyless Tower. 
because I usually like doing Keyless Tower, and this time I didn't, and it was wrong. I made the mathematically correct play instead, and that was the bad play, because the bottom of the moon this seed was ick. Oh, gosh. This is the Roma's time. Whose butt are we kicking? I definitely want to kick some butt. With my Crystal Sword Cecil. And my, uh, nuke kid. And my, I guess, my edge. Sure, he can dart some Excals on the spoon and then maybe do some Zirkin with his Masa and Ninja Sword. You know, he's, he's set up pretty well. He's just, like, not as high level as everyone else because he joined late and I didn't... And he died a bunch, so didn't bother leveling him. Also, Tella's here. Remember Tella? You know what? I'm actually going to do that and have Rosa do the crystal. Just get Cecil swinging faster. And then pow on little Star Veil. Okay, Tella. Thank you. Do the Veil. Edge will throw something, probably. And then Tella will web. Or someone will web. Silk web. One of them will silk web and the other one will heal up whoever gets hit. Palom will not get hit, because he's smart like that. Okay, we have a miss. I want to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Uh, dark next gal. There. Okay. Silk web. Tier 4 on Rosa, because she should live, but I don't want her dying now. Oh, Cecil's going real burr. Oh my goodness, Cecil. Callum, you're ready to start nuking. Patch Rosa up. Spoon. This is going to be a nice quick sea fight, I think. Nice quad nines, Palum. That's why I didn't bluff with you, because you don't need it, because you're awesome. White is all I need there. You, uh, toss a virus. Big bang happens. Uh, rip Tella. Everyone else should be fine. We have one more thing to toss with Edge, and then we go Burr. Nice. Rosa, do the thing. You have a white shirt and a life staff. This should do a lot of damage. Right? Okay. 9,000's good. Toss the x -cal. Now you can go burr. And we'll get you started on going burr, because Edge, Edge can go burr now. He's out of darts. Cecil's still going burr, of course. Yeah, let's get you zerked. Go, Edge. You're done darting things, so just go with your Masa Ninja Sword. This is ridiculous damage. I, I don't think we're seeing second Big Bang. Try to keep us healed mostly for Edge and yourself. Panelum's not getting the heal, but that's okay. Panelum is fine. Oh, uh, we're done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Palum. Well... That was a lot of damage. <laughs> Real fast. <laughs> oh, Crystal Sword Cecil with Zeus Gauntlets is so good. <laughs> Way too strong. Especially when you overlevel, because you're trying to get Palum to nuke. Uh, we did take Bahamut. Bahamut's gone. 
I think that's all the bosses we saw, so yeah, we didn't see a good number of kind of rude things. I think Mom Bomb Octomium was Fame March, I want to say. But we didn't see Baron Guards, Val, Dolls, Golbez, Dimps, King Queen, Elements, and Odin. But. That was a fun seed. How bad did I loot? 85? Eh, a little high. I can definitely cut my loot down. I did like the Evelyn loot though. I do think I like Evelyn loot. Because even though this seed was a pretty much full clear, like I cleared a lot of the seed, I think Evelyn loot did help a lot. Where was that Twin Harp? I don't think I saw it. I mean, it had to be Fame Arch or Super Cannon. I'm gonna assume Fame Arch if I don't see it in this far along. I mean, it, it probably passed by already if I, and I missed it. But I was looking away. Nope. Twin Harp was behind the moon. So moon was hard required in some capacity at least. Behind that tower key. <laughs> That's funny. 
That is funny. So super. So tower. Fey March was haunted. So at least I did that. I would have gotten Twin Harp next if I hadn't checked top of tower. So yeah, that is. Oof. That's a thing. That was a seed. It was a seed for sure. Let's get music because we never got to do music in the seed because for some reason Twin Harp was really buried. And I found everything else first. Yes, oh, I love this. I'm sad that we missed this during the seed. I have to let this play out a little bit. going to do it for me for today. This was a fun little stream. Oh, I, got, I feel like I did these seeds well and I'm feeling better about Eblon Loot now. Oh my, there's people to raid. There are lots of people to raid. Who do I raid? How's Possum doing? Is Possum like finishing? He's pretty close to the end. Let's raid it anyway. Let's go say hi to Possum. He's fighting a moon boss, so I'm assuming he's pretty far through the seed. 